Get okay, YouTube fam. Thank you so much once again for stopping by and checking out my first McFarlane figure review. It's going to be the penguin from the Batman movie. I wanted to get this out of the way now since I'm not going to remove this simply because if I take this out this joint gonna look ugly comes with the DC stance that they all come with all of the McFarlane figures they all come with similar stand to this which is just a black base with a little peg and then the DC logo there and some will say for example if you collect the Mortal Kombat one it'll say Mortal Kombat then he does have this card up here in the back of it it does read that's the data file for the penguin this inside part is pretty cool it has a lot of the uh dc comic book uh comics on there as you can see i don't know if you can see there but that's batman and then um this part right here is a superman part and then more superman stuff over here it doesn't pertain to the movie that they're actually you know the figure from the movies that they're doing which i'm curious as to why they doesn't do that because i think that this is the same one for all of them but we'll find out which let me know in the comment section below if you guys are excited for the batman 2 which going to start its production i believe i saw in november and how do you guys feel about the penguin series that they're working on now what are your thoughts let me know in the comment section below on to the figure now. Now, right off the back, I would definitely say that McFarlane, they do really good with the scope. That's one thing I did notice. Their scope work are are really good for the most part. Outside of the fact that they are all looking to the side. Like, why? Why isn't he looking at me right now? So starting with the head scope, he does have his little hairs, uh, you know, traveling over to this left side. Cowlick over here. His, his face does look pretty accurate too, to his portrayal in, as Penguin. Forehead creases there, all of the creases in the face and all of that. His nose is uh, uh, got split there, looks like he got broken at once upon a time. He has a scar there, which is nicely detailed in fact. You can see some of his teeth there. And he got his little butt chin there. Pretty dope likeness. The only thing is, the only issue that I have is eyeballs looking to the side this is a whole new look to him he's actually you know he's not crouching or anything he's fully grown man if you get these figures under the proper lighting you will see the uh the scope work and all that but if you don't have them under certain lighting it's just gonna look like plain paint now down to his coat jacket here or coat whether out of just this coat it is a soft material all of the buttons you can see all of the buttons there sculpted now it is all just like a solid dark navy color grayish color but yeah you can see his pockets there then it has some creases all around suit jacket under there which is like a brownish color has like some buttons there as well and underneath you see the purple shirt with his tie which looks pretty good under here if it because if you move this back you can see that he has like a shirt under there if you try to move this out so i think if he was to cut this he actually has a shirt under there but his arms you know part of the jacket so looking at the arms you can see the uh, creases from the coat there and as i mentioned he does have his his buttons proper scope there so that's a nice little touch as well his elbow is sculpted the way that the that the coat is sculpted so it looks cool like that then it looks like it's just like ripped pants are nicely sculpted as well you see he has his the line across you can see that his pants were pressed at the bottom 
it's folded up this is actually soft like this is hard but the lower part of his pants is soft then he has his shoes and it is sculpted you can see it, it runs all the way to the bottom and see a little button there so other than that it is just plain but yeah it's pretty cool now for articulation So the uh, wrist right here, it does hinders his movement a little bit. And there is no articulation in this area because it is all just one piece. It twists him a little bit, I believe. It goes forward. It can probably go a little bit more, but because of its coat and the way that they did this, since it's all solid, that's about how much you're going to get before it starts ripping in the middle. So moves back. About that much. And they do go to the side pretty good. But again, because of the jacket or the coat, it does hinder it. He bends, but this is extremely hard. You gotta hit, warm it up and bend it down. And if you get here, it does have a ratchet joint there. And this bottom part also moves. For accessory, he comes with these hands that he has, which they look like they're gun holding hands, but it doesn't come with a gun or anything like that. See, looks like he can hold a gun there. His hand is pretty soft, so it, it shouldn't be hard to get something in there. You know, he could floss with that. He could probably floss his whole head. And he comes with this, uh, I guess he's imitating a gun or he's just pointing at somebody like, Ayo! Ayo! It's just nicely sculpted. Let me see if you can kind of... You can see the veins there. Nicely sculpted. And then he just comes with um, one fisted hand. The fist is for his left hand and his pointing fingers is for his right hand. This is all he comes with. I guess for the price point, you know, uh, 1999 I guess you know it's pretty good so yeah I don't know I don't know so that's a wrap up you guys on my review it is pretty quick um, the figure for the most part is straight to the point um, McFarlane are as I mentioned they're really good with executing the scope of, of the individual that they're trying to capture I think that they they do lack in the department of uh giving the you know black wash and you know but when it comes down to the detail the detail is definitely there so i give it to him i think that the figure itself is well done the look is definitely there the joints are you know the, he is limited when it comes down to the articulation i do not like that he did not you know he is definitely lacking in the accessory department he only comes with the fist hand and the pointing fingers. And another issue that I had is the, the look. He just he's looking to the to the right. Like why is he only looking to the right? You know what I mean? Maybe another head scope that could you know, look neutral, you know, looking forward or something, but I do like to pose my figures and you know be able to have the ability to to pose them however I want. But with this guy, I, I feel limited with him. As I said, it is a pretty good figure. Like the scout looks really good, but it is lacking in paint area, in the paint department, and in the accessories. But other than that, it's a solid figure. I gotta admit it. It is a solid figure for what you're paying. So if you guys are a fan, I would definitely recommend them too. So, but yeah. I thank you guys for stopping by once again make sure to subscribe if you guys would like to support 
also let me know if you guys you know your thoughts on the movies and and where the movie is going with the series and part two coming out what are your thoughts on there and if you haven't yet remember to follow me on social media i'll have the, the links on the description below and i hope you guys enjoy these pictures at the end be blessed y'all thank you so much thank you